critics are forming their alliances and placing bets on who will emerge victorious in what promises to be the battle of the century, Godzilla vs. Kong. Famous Monsters of Filmland says, Godzilla will secure this win by a landslide. His sheer mass, tough reptilian hide, and devastating atomic breath are simply too much for Kong to handle. Fangoria favors the eighth wonder of the world, stating, Kong's speed, brain power, and ability to craft weapons gives him a considerable advantage over Godzilla. The Hollywood Reporter retorts, Godzilla has already proven himself in the previous two films that he is a creature of considerable intelligence. So what, Kong now has the ability to understand sign language? Well, here's a sign I know you will comprehend. Fuck you! Vanity Fair discloses, I think Perseus will win. As soon as he steps up to the plate holding the head of Medusa, Godzilla and Kong will be shivering with fear. Then they will be transmogrified, forever immortalized in stone as the pussies they are. Richard Roper remarks, Godzilla's gonna skeet 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 all over Kong's face, and then make him slurp it up like a dog licking peanut butter off my ball sack. American Cinematographer also sides with the King of the Monsters, announcing, Godzilla will use a radio tower for a strap-on, then vigorously butt-fuck Kong's hairy ass up and down the city streets. SFX blurts back, <laughs> you can sell that fucking bullshit to the tourists. Kong doesn't need a strap-on. He's going to use his actual penis. We will see who bows down to Godzilla when he's shish-kebobbed on Kong's dick, flapping around like a flag on a windy day. And Empire rounds off the debate, expressing Team Jacob all the way. Go gargle some piss-flavored holy water, Edward, you pasty white sparkling son of a bitch. Godzilla vs. Kong. See who takes the crown on March 31st, 2021.